Head down. Good boy. That's a boy. Very good. Head down. Yes. Very nice job. Head down. Good boy. It's a cute trick, isn't it? And it's actually really simple to teach, and that's what I'm going to show you today, how in three steps you can teach your dog to put their head down on command. I'm Ken Steep. This is Grand Slam. Welcome back to McCann Dogs. If this is your first time with us, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We publish videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to help you spend some quality time with your four-legged family member. First things first, I want you to have a really great treat available for your dog when you're training them. Um, anytime you're teaching your dog a new skill or a new trick, it's important that you have something that they really, really love. And today I have these tiny little Zook streets that we're going to use to teach uh, Grand Slam how to lay his head down on command. So I'm going to start out with one of these Zook streets, and I'm just going to lure Slam's head into that head down position. And when it gets there, I'm going to say yes, and then reward him. Lure that head down, yes, and then reward him again. If you find that your dog's really comfortable luring their head down into that down position, you can add a cue to it. So I'm going to say head down, then lure slams head down, and yes, reward when he's there. Now remember, you need to issue the command, then lure, then reward. If, you're, if the treats are on his nose as I'm saying the word, what do you think he's thinking about? It's probably not the word. It's going to be these treats. So it's going to be head down, lure, yes, and reward when his head is in that down position. Now if you feel like you're struggling to get your dog's head to flat on the ground, that's not terribly uncommon. A couple tricks that you can do, you can get a pillow uh, or, or like a, a, a couch cushion or something like that and use that same luring technique. So I'm going to say head down, wait till his head, yes, now you see how his neck and chin are extended out there, good boy, head down, yes. So this allows me to reward him in a position where his chin is literally touching the surface uh, of this, uh, we're actually using one of these conditioning uh, balls, but uh, if you find that your dog is having a tough time getting their chin on the, on the ground or surface that you're practicing this on, then this is a great option. Head down. Yes, and I'll only yes and reward when his chin is flat on the surface. Yes, good boy. Now we want to build a little bit of longevity into this um, trick. We don't want to slam to bob his head up and down every time I say those words. So instead of using one treat to reward slam, I'm going to put a few in my hand. I'm going to put two or three in my hand. I'm going to say the command, lure him into that position, and I'm going to reward him. But I'm going to reward him again for remaining in that position, just so that he understands that this isn't about just dipping your head on the floor. It's about putting his chin to the ground and keeping it there. Now pay attention to where, how I reward slam. I'm going to try to focus on keeping his chin st uh, stretched out. I really want him to think about extending his neck and dropping his head on the ground because it creates that really cute effect for the head down trick. Are you ready? Head down. Yes, good boy. Now see, I'm going to make sure his head is nice and stretched out when he gets those treats. Good head down. Good boy. Yes, good head down. Now it's sort of a fine line between having him move and having him stretch his neck out, so I need to make sure that I reward him in good position. So I'm going to try that one more time. I've got a couple treats in my hand. Head down. Yes, good head down. Good boy. Very nice, buddy. Good job. Way to go. Now this is a good way to get that perfect Instagram shot. So after you've done several repetitions of that head down followed by the lure, you can try one without food in your hand. So I'm going to say head down. Lure him, yes, and then I'm going to put the treat in my hand and reward him in that head down position. We're starting to break up the idea that he's got to follow food each time. Now, if I've used really good timing, he's going to understand that every time I say that word, he's expected to dip his head down and then he'll be rewarded for doing that. So I've had lots of opportunities to practice that head down uh, luring with slam, uh, both with food and without. So we're going to see if he's got it now. So we'll see if my timing uh, has allowed him to understand that every time I say that word head down, that he needs to poke his little head on the ground. And I'm actually going to try to take the uh, thumbnail picture for this video. So we'll see how it goes. Now if I say the word, he puts his head down and as I move, because this is changing the uh, scenario a little bit, as I move he pops his head up, I'm just going to gently remind him to head down. Slam, head down. Good boy, what a nice head down. Good boy, Slam. Very cute, and this is why this is such a great trick for your Instagram pictures. That is absolutely adorable, Slam. Very good boy. Good job, buddy, okay. And then I can reward him. So, you guys saw me take the thumbnail for this photo. Now, if you are having any trouble with this at all, check your timing. Remember, you need to be saying the command, 
followed by the lure, and then the reward when your dog's in position. And I like to use the yes command when I get uh, the dog into the right position because that marks exactly what I like that they're doing. If this is your first time on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We publish new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to help you do something awesome with your dog. Beside me is a video that YouTube thinks you'll want to watch next. On that note, I'm Ken. This is Grand Slam. Happy training.